What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, it was against this elite noir clan, a uh, pretty decent French clan. Uh, these guys gave it their best. It was a smaller war. We had a mixed scrim going on. A lot of people pulled all over the place. So only a 20-man war. 52 to 36 was the final for 2.0. Uh, these guys had, I think, four 11s, handful of 10s in there. Uh, two, three 11s, sorry, and same, about the same. Um, Greg, uh, Greg's kingdom is an old member who actually was visiting us for a war. It's kind of neat to have him in there as well. Um, uh, Mr. Greg, you know, we had to, uh, quit and <laughs> pumping out babies, his wife's pumping out babies like a baby factory over there. So he's got other responsibilities, but it was nice to have a little visit from Greg, jump in and help us out. Uh, you can see the Elite Noir really struggled though with their nines. I don't think they had one three star down there. No, it doesn't look like it. They didn't have one three star this whole war actually. Look at the war details. 13 to 0 was the three star count. Uh, 2.0 did their diligence, clean up the nines. For usual, TH10 triple in there, TH10 bully from an 11. Uh, so let's just raw, jump right in and check some of these out. What did I want to start with? Um, I think that was a Town Hall 8 down there. Couple, uh, couple lower level bases. So this is mouthpiece going in on this kind of strange form base. Uh, it is symmetrical. I don't know if I've ever seen one like this. Um, look at these little alleyways that lead you in and out of the base here. <clears throat> so MP kind of recognizes that, realizes if he can bust into this top part and get himself into this chamber he's just let free to to run out and do cleanup so it brings a few valks a few balloons as well which i really liked always like when uh when someone opts for a few balloons in a, instead of ho extra hogs that means he's got a specific plan going into this uh heel goes down taking care of those valks they do get a bit of a weird split i don't think he wanted that to happen but at least the golem is over there doing a little bit of tanking for them. Uh, doesn't get a lot of value out of the Valks, but his king jumps in here. They take out those bombs. Hogs are now in on all the defenses on the outer compartments that uh, the heroes cannot reach. Heel goes down and take care of everything in this super compact compartment. Teslas are about to pop. Here come these balloons I was talking about. Just two for two on each of those. Uh, two for one, I guess I should say, on each of those archer towers. Bam, 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 taking those down. Hogs are in, just going to run through those Teslas like nothing. There goes that last heal spell. Going to take care of everything as it pushes through. Queen's in there doing cleanup. A few more Hogs in there to kind of help take out those defenses. Really just has to get through the Expo, the Wizard Tower there. And it's going to be GG. Do, do, do. Poison goes down. Even has that balloon in there still kind of running around. About to get taken out by the Air Skelly. <laughs> The storage on the outside there. No big deal. <laughs> what a strange raid. <laughs> I don't know. I just like this one. It just seemed to be just all over the place and <laughs> a bit of a mess, but it all came came together in the end. Good job, mouthpiece. Treat in the bag. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so, yeah, some nice tacks in there. Little Chad Fowler up on the board. Jamie here with a six pack. Want to show one of her attacks. <clears throat> really good breakdown on this attack. Um, I like this one because she opted for the new Max Hogs. This is uh, post update, guys. So the new Max Hogs in the CC. Uh, they do some serious work. I think that's actually uh, going to be the new thing instead of taking the, the Max Golem. A lot of people are going to be opting to take the Max Hogs. Just get that extra DPS out of them. Because uh, you can keep them healed. They are are very uh, ripping through defenses a lot quicker than uh, the old level 5 hogs were. Heal spell goes down. Jump spell goes down. Letting all those Valks into this uh, core section of the base. <clears throat> Just got to mop up those pups from the Lava Hound. Sends in a few hogs now coming in from about the 9, 10 o'clock position. Here come those max hogs I was talking about. See the little gold hammers? I like it. Little gold hammers. Boom, immediately loses three of them to spring traps. But no big deal. Because he's got three more plus a bunch more hogs coming in. <clears throat> Jamie is just going to smash this base. There's not a lot of it left, right? Uh, you look at, uh, there's a Tesla Arch Tower and this sort of line of defense is on the bottom, but a bazillion hogs moving in for that. Jamie is just shredding this base. There goes that bomb just in time. Hogs were about to get over there. 
<clears throat> not too bad spring trap locations in this base though to be honest but it doesn't matter it's just enough heal spell is down probably didn't even need it because there's just an arch tower and a mortar so we'll call it semi swag heal <laughs> very nice tack jamie this tree in the bag right on uh moving up uh, was it s17 oh yeah show nightmare here Gotta love Nightmare. Bring in an old-fashioned stone goho. They are going to be making comebacks now that uh, we're back down to three minutes. And a lot of these crazy queen walks and charges are going to be negated. So you really did need that extra 30 seconds. Um, this this read was really good, though, because he's got the uh, two golems, third golems going in now. They're just going to wander up this alleyway because that Tesla is there. It's drawing them right in to the middle of all this. And then one jump spell is going to go down and essentially unlock... A huge chunk of the base here uh cc comes out poison goes down help take care of that a little bit off on the poison spell but no big deal everything's going down queen uh queen help mop things up king sort of almost took a walk there but then ends up rerouting to the jump spell which is absolutely perfect king goes in smashes down the tesla jumps over to that queen gonna hit the ability on the king down goes the queen down goes that defensive king as well in the process here come the hogs to reinforce everything from the outside few hogs in on every defense just sprinkling them in all around clockwise motion right all these outer compartments really is is the only threat left in the base uh heal spell goes down believe there's a bomb in here that he hits one of these bombs oh there's a dgb actually right here he's about to hit but look at the angle he comes in at boom single triggers it no big deal triggers a second one perfect timing on that heal spell keeps everything alive this base is clearly gg <coughs> good old-fashioned stone goho very nice nightmare very nice tree in the bag right on right on so moving on here one more town hall nine to show you man mk hog master <clears throat> opts for three valkyries here i thought that was an interesting number um love when guys just use a few valks just to give them that little extra tanking the little extra oomph uh with the new valkyrie hit points doesn't quite give you as much tanking as it used to but you get a few of them in there just taking out a few buildings just clearing out clearing out a path for the rest of your kill squad he can be really really helpful um i might have almost opted to take uh three max valks in my cc with uh some other crap then uh, i don't know just trying new things with this new update uh the max valks are pretty strong i've been seeing a lot of things on twitter about just how these top trophy pushers are just literally going in base after base with 20 plus valks um and just spamming them just like the witches so they got they nerfed the witches because they were so spammable and then they add <laughs> add valks which are just as spammable apparently so good work over there supercell took uh took the imod about a whole 24 hours for them to get through the things that you patched so that they couldn't imod so imod's back up and running of course i don't know very disheartened with this game as of late seems like uh seems like nothing's ever going to change in the long run um you know some of these new updates are nice and i appreciate seeing some new content um going around with some new strats but when the only way that these new strats are being devised are by these guys that get to practice attacks a thousand times on a base and take 18 different troop comps and try different things and like that's not that's not fun that's just you, you guys may as well just have a computer program do all that stuff for you because it's essentially what it is anyhow um Moving on, and that's tree in the bag for MK. One little building up here to go. See you later. Nice job, Hogmaster. And a dirty TH10 triple from Dirty. Gotta love this one. Bringing eight Valkyries. These are not max Valkyries. This is what I thought was really cool about this triple. Um, starts off with this little queen uh, walk at six o'clock here. Level 40 queen is going to do serious work. Drops a wizard to kind of help create the funnel. Wants to just sequence the buildings from here to here and then over and start moving up. <clears throat> so it works out perfectly. Going to step up, take out that cannon. 
Da, 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 da. <coughs> so closes off the walk now with a cold blooded golem. I think he has another golem in the CC. Am I right about that? No, sorry, a bunch of giants. Uh, I like the idea of the giants because, first of all, there's a single target inferno there. Uh, and all the, everything's just going to rip right through that. The Valks under rage are going to shred this compartment. Nice free spell goes down on the back end multi inferno. Everything gets right on over and it's right on top of it when the free spell wears down. So, boom, both infernos are down. These Valks are now going to have free reign. They do have a heal spell left over. Um, one heal down, goes down for the hogs here. Heal spell is going to go down, I believe, up in this section right away. Heal, 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 heal. <laughs> or not there it is i guess you want to keep the hogs up over the tesla i thought it was going to be for the valks right there <clears throat> so many hogs rocking down the tesla i mean mostly town hall nine defenses to go there's really only an archer tower remaining just shredded through this base di blam ba blam hits the abilities on his heroes just for fun just because he can swag poison in the middle very sexy triple di Good old Govaho at TH10. Just straight up wrecked it. Uh, so I, I'm not going to show this bully. We're kind of past the uh, Town Hall 11 versus 10 bullies. Um, you know, mostly mostly Max Witches. Um, that is going to change to Max Valks now. I guess we'll see how it works out. But I believe this was an attack with some Valks and a bunch of Witches. But no big deal. Not a lot of benefit into watching those. Um, they're mostly just kind of spamming your warden, spamming a bunch of witches, and rolling through the town hall tens like nothing. But um, so not the craziest of wars, but some really sexy replays. Really good show put on by uh, by the guys and gals here in 2.0. Nice job, everyone. Uh, got a lot of content I want to put out today. <clears throat> trying to get uh, caught up on a few things i did lose uh, quite a bit of replays to i was over in the mix scrim and then halfway through the mix scrim we got the update so i lost one of the replays for 2.0 in the process um and then as well only got i had to do kind of a special episode for the mix scrim but that is done that's getting uploaded this one's going to get uploaded uh got another one for invicta invicta versus prime uh, <laughs> prime really really adapted i guess to the uh to the update well because the update happened during prep day uh, against Prime, and Prime came out swinging and had a crazy large victory over Invicta. Victor really struggled. Both sides really struggled with the nines. Let me just say that. Um, Prime definitely showed true form. Hi, sweetheart. Um, they showed true form and really stayed strong to their game and ended up coming away, I think, with like a 12-star victory or something. Um, you know, Invicta just... Invicta had some struggles, right? And um, no one's fault, but, uh, you know, our the leadership Daddy. was on it, really trying to create Daddy. the... What? Oh, okay. I'm coming. Anyhow, <laughs> got some... Uh, fatherly concerns i need to uh need to address here so i'm gonna wrap things up guys but a lot of good content on the way was the whole point of what i was trying to say so uh anyhow that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next tree star till then i'm out